We want to thank you for watching our preview, from the Congregation of Smyrna, titled, Chatan's Kingdom, His Religions in the World and Please Don't Miss Out. My dear friends, this very important study to come is blessed by our Father, and filled with new study information that is overwhelming and inspired by Yaz Ruach, for these end days. It is directed to Israel, the ten lost tribes in the world, the Christian nations of today, who are presently deceived, by Shatan and his children the Kenites, your ministers and teachers, in those synagogues of Shatan, those church houses of doom, O Main. We are sounding the trumpet in Zion, as a warning to all those who are presently deceived, by their own church religious system, and are not aware of it. For Yahushua told us that these deceptions come from your own religions in the world. We pray that you all come out from them now, before it is too late. This may be your last warning, before the sixth trumpet sounds shortly, a time of testing, a time of punishment and a time of rewards, with the coming of the fake Messiah, Shatan, as your Christ. For religious deception is so rampant and widespread today, but basically unrecognized. When a person is deceived he is misled by false teachings that go against the word of our almighty and loving father, Yah and makes his word void, and then by putting you in error. Did not the prince of this world, Shatan, do the same, as he quoted scripture, by adding and omitting words to the Messiah when he fasted for forty days, but Yahushua corrected him on all accounts. This was the first thing our Hebrew Messiah did when he started his ministry, confronting Shatan head on, in order to teach us what to expect to come upon us, and to prepare us, for Shatan will do the same, so we better be prepared by studying Yah's inspired word of life, with his helper, from above, O Main. Now such a person, in the world thinks things are one way when in reality they are completely different from Yah's everlasting inspired truth, because they don't study or know or understand Yah's inspired and living word of life that is taught by his Ruach Kordish from above and not by any man. This sort of thing will abound in these last days, especially religiously, where millions upon millions will be deceived, by the fake and evil one. Doesn't your Bible state this very point, in the book of revealing to Yah's elect, Revelation, when the King of Kings and Master of Masters comes at the sounding of the seventh and final trumpet and finds the whole world deceived except for the election and those that washed their robes with the blood of the Lamb, as 144,000 sealed ones speak the words of Pentecost, all of them were filled with the Ruach Kordish and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them, O Main. The end days are filled with terrible events to come, this is the reason, the Messiah wept for us. Among these things which characterize the perilous days at the end of this age of the flesh, as Barnava, Timothy taught us. But evil men and impostors will grow worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived, 2 Barnava 4. Verse 13, So be it. Enter in by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction and many are those who think they enter heaven by it. Small is the gate and narrow is the way that leads to eternal life. Few are those who seek intently for it. Yet all who seek for it, will find it. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly they are ravaging wolves. By their fruits you will know them. Do you gather grapes from thorns, or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree produces good fruit and every corrupt tree produces evil fruit. A good tree cannot produce evil fruit. Likewise, Neither can a corrupt tree produce good fruit. Every tree that does not grow good fruit, is cut down and thrown into the fire. By their fruit you will know who people are. Not everyone who says to me, Master, Master will enter into the kingdom of Yahuwah, but rather the one that keeps, the covenant words, not the words of men or the scribes, only his covenant, meaning the inspired living words of Yahuwah, my father, who is in the Shamayim. Matthew, Matthew 7, verses 13 to 21, corrected, as Yahushua taught us to test all things, by going back to the manuscripts and by using the original languages, so be it, for it is done your way. Now for Shatan's kingdom, 
his world religions, are all created by him and part of his hidden dynasties, covered in full detail in our study, so don't miss it. Yahushua called him the ruler of this world. Shatan has great capacity and vanity made him decide to compete with his creator, Yahuwah. We say to all that are watching, get out of them, your religious church system, before it is too late, my dear friends. Our video study may just change your life, and put you on the right path, if it is in Yah's will, so be prepared for an revelation and an awakening, don't miss our next study, Shatan's Kingdom. His religions in the world, coming soon, right here, on our YouTube channel, and thank you all for watching today, and we all say, Hallelujah, Hail to Yah and His Kingdom forever and ever, Amen.